good morning good afternoon good evening good night from where when you're watching this video this is john from it skills academy with yet another video today i present to you yet another pharmacy management system i'll take you through how i created this simple pharmacy management system using php and mysqli to make it simple i'll break it into several episodes as follows in the first episode, I'll basically be introducing you to the system and also uh, show you uh, the basic uh, dashboard that we'll be using for the system. Uh, in the second episode, you're going to set up uh, the uh, database. Then um, in the uh, third uh, episode, we'll be creating the uh, dashboard now. And in the fourth episode, we'll be adding the patients. Fifth, we'll be adding uh, or managing the patients and other. In the sixth episode, we'll be adding uh, and managing suppliers. And then in the sixth uh, and in the seventh episode, we'll be dealing with drugs, that is entering or adding the drugs into the system and also managing the drugs in terms of editing, in terms of uh, um, deleting the drugs uh we'll also uh, be dealing with the expired drugs in the eighth episode and in the last but not the least episode uh, number nine we'll be dealing with uh, the billing uh, system that is uh, where we'll be managing the transactions and what a few so hope this is interesting and um without so much ado let's just get started well we are currently in the project folder which i have named pharmacy system tutorial and inside it you can see we have some content and basically what is inside there is uh, the files uh, for the admin template that we'll be using uh, for this project i will be sharing with you details on uh, where you can be able to download this specific uh, template uh, for free i'll also be leaving a link to download the same in the description of this specific uh, video so um what we just have here as you can see uh is a teleweed.config.js which tells you that this specific um uh, admin template is created using Tillyweed uh, CSS. If you do if you would want to learn about uh, Tillyweed CSS, which is uh, one of the most common uh, and fast-growing um, CSS framework, then I have uh, tutorials uh, in this channel that you can just go and watch. Uh, they take you from the basics up to uh, uh, being able to create your own. Um, landing page uh, using a uh, tailwind uh, css plus also how you can also be able to create your own admin template still using the framework uh, but uh, for this video we'll uh, not be focusing on how to create the dashboard we'll be focusing on how to create uh, the pharmacy management system with an already created um, a dashboard that has been created of course using the tailwind uh, css so uh, right now I just want to show you uh, the specific uh, file and so what I'm just going to do and now uh, I just want to show you uh, the specific uh, dashboard that contains this file or that is made of these files and so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to uh, type cmd here just so that I can be able to open uh, the command prompt and uh, inside here i just want to open uh, the project using uh, visual studio uh, which is the text editor that i'll be using for this specific uh, project so i'm just going to come and type cold and uh, uh, space and then the period and then hit enter and basically what this will do is that it is going to open visual studio code uh, with the uh, files for the specific uh, project as you can see here and so I'm just going to close some of the files that we don't need here uh, in fact let me just close everything so that we can start from uh, the very beginning so these are the same files that we were seeing in the folder and uh, let me just um, close this a bit so that we can be able to see the structure itself so basically we just have these two folders that we'll be using uh, the most that is the build and the source so if i uh, export the build we're going to see uh, the assets the distribution and the docs that has to do with the tailwind uh, css 
uh, but now inside the folder pages we have uh, another folder that is the includes and we also have the sidebar we'll be seeing that in a minute but let me just close that for now uh, below that we also have the idex.php this will be the login uh, page and we also have the sign up uh, page we'll be seeing that in a minute let's just go back to uh, the um, pages because now um, in the pages we also have uh, the dashboard so if i may just open it here so this is uh, the uh, code that we already have uh, ready but this is a purely uh, html we don't have any php which is what we'll be um, uh, measuring on uh, in this specific tutorial so uh, what is already made is only the html and the css side of this specific uh, um, project but we'll also be uh, uh, working with some html and some tailwind uh, css uh, for some uh, pages that have not yet created so what we just have created for now uh, is just something to just get us started some sort of a template from where we can be able to like uh, build on so um, let me just uh, get to the browser here so that we can be able to open that specific uh, file uh, uh, or template uh, but first of all i need to ensure that i have uh, a zamp open so zamp uh, <coughs> uh, is an application that will help you to learn uh, projects that are made using uh, php and uh, uh, mysql so let me just search for it here so here you have it so zamp uh, control um, panel so i'm just going to run it um, and uh, it basically provides you um, with a platform uh, that you can be able to learn uh, php as i've mentioned plus also it provides you with um, uh, a dashboard i mean uh, a database or, or, or a control panel from where you can be able to um, manage uh, records in uh, you know, what we can call uh, a database so uh, as you can see here we have two or several services that uh, we have available but the only one that we need or the only ones that we need to start is the apache and the uh, mysql just that uh, the mysql as i'm saying is the one that will help you to sort of um uh, help you to manage the database uh, help you to manage the database so sometimes you're going to come across this uh, sort of errors so um let me just try to start it all over again and see if that will work yes so finally what you should see is the two modules turning green and when they turn green then it means that uh, both of them are learning uh, successfully so uh, when those two are learning successfully then it means that you can be able to uh, run your php project uh, comfortably so if um, you don't have a zamp i'll be providing a link in the description of this video from where you can be able to download uh, this um, uh, application and have it installed in your system you can also use WAMP uh, which is also uh, similar to this uh, which will also help you to uh, like uh, manage a PHP and MySQL projects so uh, that being ready I'm just going to minimize it and now I'm just going to head on to my browser and in the search I'm just going to come and type uh, a localhost uh, the reason as to why I'm typing localhost is because the project is locally installed as a result of uh, the um, ZAMP uh, app that I've installed. Uh, I'm able to like locally um, host uh, uh, my project from where I can be able to access it and also be able to like edit it and update everything that I want. So. Um, the project itself is a pharmacy management or sorry the pharmacy system tutorial uh, so that is the folder that you can be able to see here so that is the specific uh, project folder and then inside this folder we want to go to another subfolder called build so we're going to get into that and then inside that we're also going to head on to the pages and this is the specific file that we need so uh, with this now i can just press enter 
and now as you can see i'm taken to uh, the specific uh, page uh, which basically by default is showing us the uh, dashboard and as i said um, we're just going to have something just to get us started and uh, on this side i have the sidebar that we'll be using the only page that we have is the dashboard which is uh, the one that we are seeing here and this is the only information that we have we'll be building everything else from uh, what we have here the other pages we don't have at them so we'll be building the pages and then linking to them but this is just to like guide us on what uh, specifically we need to be creating for this project so like for example we need to have the dashboard we need to have a place to add the patients we need to have a place to manage the patients we need also to have the pharmacy uh, uh, section this way we'll be adding drugs managing drugs adding suppliers managing the suppliers and also uh, managing the expired drugs and also we'll also be having the billing section this is where we will also uh, managing uh, the transactions of uh, how the drugs are coming in and out so in that specific page there so uh, for now even when i click it we don't have anything so we'll be uh, moving to that so <clears throat> basically <clears throat> that's what we have and if i may just step back a little bit we also have uh, already created uh, the login and uh, the um, uh, sign up pages so this is uh, the login page so we will be able to provide the username and the password uh, we'll also be creating the login system uh, uh, from uh, scratch uh, from like how you can be able to uh, validate a user who have already registered uh, and also we'll also be creating the sign up page so we'll also be helping the users uh, to earn or to create accounts that they can use to sign up to the system uh, for this register with we don't have the uh, part working yet but that's something that i'm looking forward to uh, creating in future so uh, but basically uh, the html and the css side of uh, the login system is already done uh, so what we'll be uh, creating is uh, the um, uh, the php uh, side of it so we will just be making it dynamic uh, much much uh, later all right so um having said that therefore um i think that's all that we needed for the introductory part of it um remember that i've already said that um uh, i'll be providing uh, this uh, dashboard uh, or every resource that we'll be using for this project in the link uh, of every uh, um, episode that uh, we are going to create that way you can be able to just uh, go down there and pull out uh, the resources so that it can be easier for you to follow up in everything that you'll be creating Well, before we finish this episode, I would like uh, to talk about uh, the uh, Creative Team. So Creative Team is a website from where you can be able to download free and premium templates. The way, uh, the reason as to why I'm uh, talking about the Creative Team is because this is the website from where I downloaded the template that we'll be using uh, for this specific project. I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video so that you can just go there. So that you can just go there and sample the various uh, templates that they have uh, both uh, free and premium and as you can see from on top there they also have them in various uh, technologies so that you can be able to like <coughs> grab the specific one that you want in our case we'll be dealing with the Tiluid css so i'm just going to come and click on the Tiluid css uh, technology uh, from where now i'm able to sample uh, the various um the main templates that are created uh, using uh, the Tiluid uh, CSS uh, technology. So just a minute, my um, network seems to be a bit slow here. So as you can see, these are the various um, themes or the like main uh, templates that they have. Uh, as you can see, these ones are premium ones that you're going to buy. And as you can see, they're celebrating a 10-year anniversary from where you can get an offer on uh, the um, <coughs> specific theme that you choose to select. So in my case, I uh, used uh, this one here because as you can see, uh, it is one that is only made with uh, Tiluid uh, CSS. 
uh, but as you, as you can see we also have another one here that also combines with javascript which is free we also have another here which is um some sort of a running page uh, which is created with material Tiluid uh, Kit um, uh, React. So it is both Tiluid CSS and uh, React JS. Yes. Uh, the same case with this one, which is free Material Tiluid Dashboard uh, React, which is free. So in my case, I just uh, picked this one. So if you may just um, select on it and preview it. So this is. Um, the template that I downloaded uh, for free, as you can see, but I modified it a little bit so that it can suit my needs, and as so you can be able to just grab it and uh, um, modify it the way you want. But of course, if you are uh, using it uh, um, for um, commercial purposes or reasons, I think it's always better that you uh, like. Um, <coughs> tag uh, or just mention um, the creative team so uh, to be able to download uh, the project all that you need to do is uh, to just come and uh, uh, click on it just click on it and then you're just going to see <coughs> um, or you'll be taken to this specific page so uh, you're going to see the product description everything that is included in that specific um, uh, a theme so uh, if you just want to download it you're satisfied with everything that it offers then you can just hit on the download uh, over here so you can go to uh, click on the download over here and then the project will be downloaded and you'll be free uh, to use it so that's uh, the specific um, uh, theme that you'll be using for this project and uh, that's how you can be able to download it. I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video.